Today, I'd like to go over some interesting new ways of conducting 3D modeling with Onshape with the new query variable functions that have been recently added. I'm going to take this flight case here and redesign it a little bit. In fact, it feels like I'm sort of breaking a lot of the rules of traditional parametric CAD when uh, doing this. Let's go ahead and look at this. We have two extrusions, one in the top direction and one in the bottom direction related to a height variable that is uh, configured. What I'm going to do is just take that and make it a single extrusion in two directions. And you can see here, of course, we have a couple of failing features. Let's just clean those up, delete those, and we're left with the original volume for the flight case with a plane sort of running along the top. I'm going to create the new query variable here called case rounds. I want it to always just fill it every edge of this body, no matter what. So there are a few ways you can do this. I think the easiest way in this case is to select the edge convexity option and choose all convex edges of this shape. You can see I can see the selection show right up, confirming that it's been added, and it adds a feature to the tree for this to reference in the future, like in this fillet right here. And now, without having to make a selection other than the selection of the query variable, it will add that fillet to all of those edges that meet that criteria. Let's go ahead and add our draft now. I'm adding body draft, which is a way of adding draft to an entire part. You can even show where the, uh, the split is happening. Let's take a look at this from the, uh, the side here. Uh, right now, we're, we're drafting just along that top plane, but we'll make it symmetric. And you can see that, in fact, we are having the fillet radii adapt to the part, right? So that's part of the body draft option there. Really pretty cool that you can fill it first and draft later. It's always like the opposite of what we teach in uh, traditional uh, drafting uh, in CAD modeling. Let's just go ahead and split this into two separate pieces now. So we have a lid and a base. Right? You see there's two parts now being generated in one part studio. We'll rename that uh, bottom piece to the base here just to make it clear what's going on. I do want to shell all of the faces that were created by that split operation. You know, let's presume that there may be a change in the number of faces or parts that could happen. We can create a query variable to select all of the faces that were created by that split operation. And then when you go ahead and create the shell, all you have to do is either select it from the list or even from the tree. You can see that it's shelling both parts with one selection, right? So that's already a nice quick tip right there. And we have two parts now all shelled out. And it really does feel like I've broken all the rules of how I would normally build something like this. I can rethink how I do CAD now um, and find more uh, interesting ways of developing things like this flight case. So I hope you like this. Hopefully we'll have some more query variable videos here to uh, discuss. Thanks again.